This is what a high alpine glacier looks like in the summer with the snow covering gone. It's not terribly pretty but it has a certain stark beauty and it's fascinating to see how the crevasses develop and what a glacier actually looks like. Higher up it's more attractive to the human eye with its softer contours and deeper ice but there's evidence of falls as the warmer temperature melts the ice. This summer the sun has been pretty relentless and here in Switzerland we've just come to the end of a two week heat wave. The summer sun has been punishing for the glaciers here in the Alps. I'm now at the top of Sassfe on the Alalin Glacier at over 3,000 metres. As you may be able to see I'm just wearing a t-shirt and the sun once again is beating down. The glaciers still provide plenty of activities for us humans, though you need to be careful hiking on them. Not just for crevasses, but also as it melts there's greater danger of the ice falling and all around there's evidence of the thaw. Here in Sassfe the glacier is still plenty big enough for summer skiing and it's one of the main centres in Europe. That's the British coach Warren Smith who runs courses here over the summer months. He's heading off to make a few turns before he has a chat with me later on in town. I filmed quite a lot of time lapses here and, and I have seen the glacier actually retreat from this bottom end of the village. Um, but saying that, when we came here in July, at the start of July, we walked out onto the glacier and sort of stepped up about a metre onto snow. It, it was, there was loads and loads of snow. It had the biggest, I think across Switzerland, Sassafé had the biggest snowfall this, this winter because it, it was a bumper winter. Um, but you know, I, I have seen the snow retreat in terms of the glacier. Sadly though much of it has melted over this summer and there's been little fresh snow to replace it. All around at the top is the sound of the ice melting and the water flowing downhill. In town the man-made structures can cope with the high level of the meltwater but only just. Much of this water cascading down used to be part of the glacier. This is the result of the retreat of the glaciers in the Alps. However, they've been retreating since the last ice age and though it's fashionable to blame it on global warming caused by man's use of fossil fuels, it may just be part of nature's cycle. The jury is still out on the exact cause but the fact remains the glaciers in Europe are retreating at an increasing rate. James Cove, Planet Ski, Sassfe in Switzerland.